Uh -oh. I wonder if I should vlog today. I guess I will. I guess. Maybe you vlogged anything else? No, just this. All right, cool. <laughs> it's like 3 p.m. and we had like an hour to go thrifting. So we're just gonna go hit this Goodwill really quick. Whee! Yeah. I don't know what these are. They're Nike, obviously. They're like shocks. $10. Some nice Cole Haan Zero Grands. I think these are $10 too. Yeah, 10 bucks. And then these uh, Corcoran boots. But check it out, they want $25 for them. Whoa. I know. Whoa. But worth it probably, They're right? probably still worth it, yeah. As long as we don't get a return. <laughs> yeah. Single stitch. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Do you think it would go for 25 I don't know. No. Probably like 15 to 20 bucks. It's just cool. Just wanted to show you. I'm putting it yeah. back though. Yeah. Tommy Bahama shirts are $13 at this Goodwill. Wrangler shirts for $13. $15 on a Columbia shirt. I mean, come on. Clothes have gotten really, really expensive here. Yeah. There's like Tommy Bahamas for $13 now. And there's a Columbia shirt for like, it was like fifteen dollars for a Columbia PFG. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's super cool. This shirt is sweet. Is it a Rainforest Cafe shirt? I don't know. Or is it just a Rainforest stitch. shirt? Oh, there it is. Oh, Rainforest Cafe. Yeah. I'm flipping around yet. Ooh. This is awesome. Yeah, I kind of want it. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's on a Habitat tag too. Yeah, that's what's so cool. Three dollars. That's a great find, babe. I found this. You did. You did a great <laughs> job. <laughs> this one was actually really hard to even see the three stitch on it. Oh. Yeah. But when you flip it over, there she is, right there. That Lululemon logo. Nice. Time to get dirty. It's a good, good shirt. So at that thrift store, we picked up two vintage shirts. No, one vintage shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Lululemon shirt and then you picked up that really cool Rainforest shirt. Yes. That one was vintage. Rain, vintage Rainforest Cafe shirt. Yeah, it's cool. Probably like, I don't know, 25 bucks a piece on those. And then uh, shoes. I put back the Corcoran boots because the comps on them were like 50 bucks. Uh, they wanted 25, so after shipping and fees, no money left there. lost money. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, the Nike shoes I put back as well, same thing, comps weren't good enough. And then the Cole Haan Zero Grand shoes I did pick up for $10. We typically get like uh, 50 to 60 bucks for those. So. Yeah. Maybe you'll wear them once or twice. They do fit me and they yeah. are nice. Anyway, um, we'll probably roll this video into another thrifting video. So, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Well, good morning, everybody. Like I said, we rolled yesterday's thrifting video into today's video, starting the day off by going to another Goodwill, uh, one that we like to go to because we found some cool vintage stuff there before. So I am, I'm just grabbing a quick uh, gallon of water from the grocery store because I've been on this like drink a gallon, drink at least a gallon of water a day kick and it's been going really well. So I'm grabbing a gallon and then I'm gonna meet Allie at the thrift store. We're gonna go thrifting and then I'm gonna go hit the gym. So that's the whole plan for today so far. Let's go. So that Goodwill actually had some pretty decent stuff. We picked up uh, quite a few things. So I'll show you some of the highlights. Some Nike Free Trainer 5.0s, model number 579813-008. Paid 15 bucks for these things. They are in pretty much like 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10 condition for used shoes. And I would say we should get at least like 50 bucks for them. For $4.48, had to pick up this really, really cool vintage Minnie Mouse sequin shirt. On the Mickey Ink tag, all designs are exclusively hand beaded. It says on there, I don't know, I think it's a cool item. I would say at least like 30 to 35 bucks is what we should get for this one. Made in the USA majestic jersey. I don't know what that is on the front, but it is Seattle Seahawks on the back 
and this jersey was only four dollars it's in great condition i don't know exactly what it's worth but i'll do some more research on it for four dollars it was worth the gamble also my camera battery is about to die so we are going to finish this video up when i get home i still have to go work out and i'll finish it up when i get home <sighs> all right Let's uh, continue on with this haul. Oh, one thing, I did some more research on that Disney shirt. This Disney, like, mini shirt with the sequins on it. Um, I think it's more valuable than I initially thought. So I think it might be worth like $100 plus, which would be crazy because we only paid like, what, a few bucks for it? So I don't know. Um, we'll probably end up listing it kind of high, see if there's any takers. Obviously we'll list best offer as well, um, but I don't know. It could be a really good score. And then Ali found a pair of True Religion jeans. A lot of men's True Religion jeans actually have the style name on the inside tag. So like these ones are called Gino, G-E-N-O, and they are a size 30. Really good condition. Pretty cool jeans. We paid $10 for them, and I think we should be able to sell them for at least 40 bucks. I'll save this one till later. Just kind of like a bread and butter meat and potatoes item for us. Affliction size, large shirt, big graphic on the back. I think we've actually sold this shirt before. We get like 20 bucks for them, and $2.98 is what we paid for that. And then Allison found this pair of shorts. This is a new brand to me. Um, I've never heard of it. It's called Norse Projects. But she picked them up because they are clearly high quality. Like you can feel when a pair of shorts has like good stitching and is made of good material. And these kind of feel like that Lululemon type fabric. So she picked them up, $3.98. I don't know what these will sell for. Um, on the low end, I'm assuming like $30, but they could sell for up to 50 bucks. And then the final two items. Now here's the deal. I am not an expert on this brand. I don't know for sure if it is genuine. The brand is Billionaire Boys Club. I'll try to get a close up of the tag so you can see it as well. This cost us $3.98. It's a streetwear brand. It's a higher end brand. Retail on these items is very expensive. So that's the front. That's the back, astronaut on the back. The one thing that I can say is I've felt fake Billionaire Boys Club stuff before, and it's always been very low quality. This one is a nice, thick pullover. The quality seems correct. The stitching seems correct. It has the RN and the CA number on it. Everything is spelled right on the lettering and everything just looks legit. So I personally think that it is real, but again, I'm not an expert. I'll shop it out to a few people who we know who uh, have dealt with this brand before and we'll see. But for $4 to me, it was worth the gamble. If it is real, probably like $50 plus on this pullover. And then last but not least, this was the biggest gamble of the day. I paid $30 for this jersey. I wish it was cheaper, but it wasn't. Uh, but for $30, I decided to take the gamble. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but to me, we'll at least be able to get our money back, um, but I do think that it will sell for more money. The jersey is a majestic brand, Astros, fully stitched, even has the little Velcro there. It's a fully stitched jersey, and it has the 2000 inaugural season patch on it. 16 on the back, I don't even know who that is, I don't really follow baseball. What I do know is that it is a very nice quality jersey, it's rare to have the inaugural patch on there like that. It's in great condition. And I believe the Astros won the World Series recently in like 2017 or something. So I think that that is gonna increase the value as well. Size 48, clearly authentic, everything is correct. And again, it's in nine out of 10 condition. So I don't know what it's worth. I know that new, these things sell for like $180. So used, maybe we'll get half that. I'm not really sure. But again, $30 gamble, more than we typically like to risk, but I decided it was worth a shot today. And that's everything that we got at that Goodwill. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I think I'm just gonna end the video here, but thank you so much for watching. Please guys, if you know anything about these items or if you have more perspective on things that I don't know about, I'm always willing and happy to learn. So leave a comment on this video. Please leave a thumbs up on the video as well and subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed. And until the next one guys, I'm Ryan Roots. Peace out, thanks for watching, bye.